En arrivant en Écosse en 2010, j'ai découvert parmi les nombreuses similitudes entre la France et l'Écosse un très fort intérêt pour la, la gastronomie, la qualité et la provenance des produits. Et j'ai souhaité que l'Institut français participe à ce qui est une véritable effervescence autour du terroir écossais à travers une série de rencontres initiées en 2011 et poursuivies cette année en 2012. No, it, when, when Fred first came to me to tell me about the exchange, uh, it's quite a natural uh, transition and also tradition for Scotland and France to share uh, common ground and we've done it for hundreds of years so for us to be involved with some you know to come well first of all to go over to Brittany to, to experience it my head chef issue he went over and then to come back and uh, for you, you you guys to come over here it's just fantastic and uh, I think there should be more of this you know so it's a fantastic collaboration and uh, c'est quelque chose que je soutiens vraiment. Paul Wedgwood, Craig Wood, Martin Wishart, Roy Brett, ils transmettent l'amour de nos terroirs dans leurs restaurants. Ils nous ont accueillis cette semaine dans leurs établissements. Je me souviens que je me souviens d'aller dans la cuisine pour la première fois et tout était nouveau. Je ne savais pas comment peeler un oignon, même. Je me suis montré tout. Tout était juste... C'est comme un... C'est comme un... Kids walking into a sweetie shop, you know, everything was new, everything was, and you just you just work your way up, and, and it's, it's 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 nice. We have we have in the past we've had uh, exchange front of house and and kitchen, and uh, it's it's always worked out very well. Alors ce matin j'étais en pâtisserie, donc j'ai fait euh, les desserts du jour et les desserts à la carte. C'est euh, c'est plein de petites choses qui sont servies à la fois dans la même assiette et euh, beaucoup de mélanges de textures, donc euh, mou, dur, euh, une sorte de gelée. Euh. Une magnifique rencontre avec nos jeunes venus de Bretagne, avec trois générations de poissonniers chez Welsh Fishmonger à Edimbourg. Ce matin, nous avons été particulièrement heureux de venir dans l'entreprise familiale Welsh qui nous a accueillis vraiment les bras ouverts. Que nos étudiants ont pu directement être impliqués dans le travail du filetage du poisson dans la préparation des poissons. Ça peut paraître simple, mais la technique qui est utilisée par les poissonniers professionnels n'est pas du tout la même que celle qui est utilisée par les cuisiniers. Um, it was founded in 1959. Uh, my grandfather started it um, after he came back from the war, and uh, he's done it ever since. Um, my grandfather was um, in the boss, and now it's moved down to my father. So um, it's pretty good. My uh, granddad still works here. D'abord, ça a été très impressionnant de rencontrer une personne comme ça. C'est si, un immense, quelqu'un que qu'on respecte beaucoup tous, je pense. Qui a, il fait un métier, il est passionné, il, il a pris le temps de nous montrer, il a, il a fait des erreurs, enfin forcément. Il n'a il a rien dit, il nous a, il nous a laissé faire, il nous a remontré plusieurs fois. Ça, c'est ben, quelque chose qu'on ne fera sûrement pas partout. Dominique Smith, Sunnyside Farm, Dumfries and Galloway, un de nos premiers partenaires dans nos projets, euh, éleveur, avec qui nous avons réalisé notre premier pop-up cette semaine. Um, so we farm Dexters, we farm traditional pigs, which are Gloucester Old Spots and Berkshires, and uh, also some Shetland sheep and some goats now as well, of course. Um, and they're all produced um, to sell through our own butchery. So we've had We've had the students with us today um, from uh, Dinard. Um, they've been preparing for a meal tonight um, at our local cafe. We've, we've taken it over and uh, they're preparing a banquet. Um, so there's been lots going on this morning. I can say they've eaten plenty as well. It's good to welcome people on, on the farm and uh, get them to see how, where food comes from, get them to understand uh, about livestock, get them to see livestock and get them maybe to have a, a go at doing things that they wouldn't normally do. They were probably this, this morning they were helping with the butchery. I, I'm not sure they're going to get what they're expecting the customers tonight, um, but I, I hope they're going to enjoy it. Yeah, we've got a six course banquet um, planned. Um, I'm not sure I can take too much credit for any of it, but Um, we've, uh, we've got um, uh, some steak tartare which will really put the cat amongst the pigeons tonight um, because 
you know, local audience might be slightly wary of the, uh, the steak tartare, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then we've made a special sausage, um, uh, saucisson de Lyon maybe, but saucisson de Sancre I think we'll call it, uh, which will be break, baked in a, a brioche, um, which they've made this morning, which has been very impressive seeing that. And then a soup, a soup, a pot of first style soup, so the bits of cheek and oxtail and things like that have been, been uh, put into it. Um, and um, what else are we having? Oh, veal blanquette, blanquette de veau, uh, which, which, has been, which is always good to see prepared, uh, one of our favourites. Um, and of course, using our veal shoulder. The products are very often à portée de main, comme nous le montre Andy, à l'extérieur d'une zone industrielle de Glasgow. What we've just uh, done there is that we've just come back from a, a mini forage. Uh, and what I tried to do was to keep it within a 10 minute walk of the building. Because what I want to try and show is the, the, the cooks and the chefs that they can do this themselves. They don't have to travel far. And with a little bit of knowledge, they can get something from their own backyard that, uh, that they can then use in their dishes. Um, a provenance is very important nowadays. And you can't have more provenance than being you know, within 10 feet of your building. Uh, and we went out and done a, a wee forage there and we found six or seven different edibles from you know hogweed to cleavers to ground elder to nettles uh, all of which can be used in a, a multitude of dishes. Uh, I also have to make the point they need to be very careful about what they're doing however because there are poisonous plants out there. Donc là nos jeunes sont à la pêche, sont à la pêche euh, campagne de Stirling, une rencontre formidable avec Stuart, Stuart grand passionné de, de pêche et notamment le brochet. Uh, uh, an après-midi uh, superb uh, au soleil. Um, so we've just caught our first pike. Um, it's a small pike. It was about uh, half a kilo. Um, uh, really uh, too small for us, so we, we've put it back to, to grow to a larger size. Um, the, the pike in here are, are quite special that they predominantly uh, forage on traditional Scottish brown trout, so we find that the growth increment is quite large over a short period of time. Um, we can have excess up to uh, seven kilo in, in one pike. Um, I think last year the most average was about uh, 14 pounds when it came to the majority of the pike. L'événement principal de ces rencontres gastronomiques entre l'Écosse et la France cette année, c'est ce restaurant éphémère au Hub qui est l'occasion pour euh, les jeunes chefs du lycée hôtelier de, de Dinard d'être confronté à l'espace d'une soirée avec une véritable clientèle euh, et de restituer tout ce qu'ils auront acquis pendant, pendant 7 jours euh, de leur rencontre avec les producteurs et les restaurateurs écossais pour des gens qui, j'espère, seront venus eux aussi dans un esprit de rencontre. Ma philosophie pour le food et le restaurant était de prendre mon expérience en travaillant dans Star Michelin et sort of fine dining restaurants, simplifier ça, donner aux gens des ingrédients que nous avons plein en Scotland and a very simple style of food and service at good value and hopefully with delivering that it's what keeps people coming back, yeah. I think um, for me it's, I'm delighted to see young chefs given the opportunity to develop their skills um, both in the kitchen and kind of out with the kitchen in terms of building their knowledge and Cherie that worked with us in the restaurant last year was delighted to go to France, to Brittany. She really enjoyed the experience and I could see her grow as a person, as a chef, being um, exposed to that sort of culture. So I think as well, I think the more that young chefs see in terms of traveling and other food, ingredients, produce, seasonalities, exposure to kitchens, I think it can only benefit them in the future for developing the next generation of chefs. It's great to have the students come into different kitchens um, in Edinburgh and use Scottish produce um, and I think it's fantastic for my team as well to be involved in it and for me to be involved in it. I think it's excellent. On a L'année dernière, au mois de septembre, on a accueilli une délégation écossaise. C'était également pour nous quelque chose d'important d'avoir le retour de l'accueil qu'on avait pu avoir l'année dernière. Euh, on a créé des liens euh, et puis cette année ça se consolide encore euh, par notre venue et puis une classe nouvelle avec des élèves nouveaux qui je pense euh, en ont eu pris plein les yeux parce qu'ils ont découvert euh, des choses différentes et variées et voilà, euh, on ne demande qu'à recommencer, qu'à revenir l'année prochaine et surtout aussi également à accueillir euh, les chefs écossais euh, chez nous en Bretagne parce que nous aussi on a de beaux produits à faire découvrir.